I start by using my roofing square to check that the uh, boxing in on the left hand side is square, which it is, so that's a bonus. I can then go on to um, checking the overall length, which I'm writing on the wall now, and then making sure that the overall height to the underside of the units is the same, which it should be, because theoretically they're both level. I know they're both level, I put them both in. Um, then check the height to underneath the extractor. Now, unfortunately, that distance is greater than the size of the board that I'm lifting up now, so I'm having to put a join in there. Unfortunate, but not a lot you can do about it. But I um, then transfer my marks over onto the board itself. Then lay down my track and I can begin to cut. I then decide to rip it to the, um, the height of one side of the units rather than trying to do the cut inside of the uh, where the extractor is going to be because um, I'm having to put a join in anyway so I decide to put my join there. Now it's time to uh, measure up for the socket cutouts. Drill out the two corners first, um, which just makes it easier to get the jigsaw. And this board's really easy to cut actually because it's an MDF back with a full mic front, and it's essentially the same as the worktop material, um, just a lot thinner, which is good. Um, yeah, them two holes just make it a lot easier to get the turns. Now I add a very, very liberal amount of, um, this is pink grip. It's not my favourite, to be honest, but it's what was on the job. I mean, it, it's good, it does the job, but I just find it's not the easiest to work with. Um, there's a lot, yeah, see there, it doesn't even stick to the wall. But there's a lot of other adhesives on the uh, market that I prefer using. But yeah, this does a good enough job. make sure to add plenty around the sockets as they're going to get quite a lot of um, movement in them areas. Yeah, again, quite a liberal amount. Just noticed actually that I've missed a bit on the top right hand side above that socket there. Naughty Lewis. Yeah, again around the sockets just to make sure that it's got a good grip in them areas. and we can go ahead and fit the panel. Make sure you really, really adhere this to the wall. This is what I mean with that pink grip. It's not great, it hasn't got a very good initial grab, but once it goes off, it's plenty good enough, but you've just got to really make sure you get it on there. I'll do the same process with this board. Um, obviously the cut out for around the window, a lot more sockets in this one to cut out, well I say a lot more but a lot more in one area, a lot more focused in one area.
but again making sure that it's all firmly stuck. notice on this bit that I cut here that there is actually a plastic trim there. I'm going to put a silicon bead along that afterwards as well and that will hide it but um, I actually spent quite a lot of time making to, to line the marbling pattern up there as best as I could anyway because um, they're from two completely different boards so I was quite lucky. Here you can see I've changed the silicon um, just because I want it to bed a lot easier in these areas around the windowsill couple of packers to level it up it wasn't terrible to be honest but it needed a couple you can see there's two different thicknesses I think the blacks are two mil and the blues are four mil I believe fit the trim I've left a bit of an overhang here I don't want it uh, flush with the upright piece um, just so I can get a silicon joint around there as well only a tiny one but just so it's sealed properly masking tape to hold it in place while the uh, silicon goes off. I think there you can see that I've done the overhang actually. Onto the side pieces, same process again. It's a bit of boxing up for around the boiler. I've just slotted this in for now. It will eventually have two screws and then nice little white cover caps going on there. Um, the boiler wasn't up and running at this point, so it needed to be removed anyway. And then we're on to the silicon in. It's a right handy little tip for that, using an old bank card or credit card or something along them lines to do this. I find it just gives you enough of a a round over just to get a nice seal along. Yeah again paying attention to keeping their marblings looking the same or as similar as possible where my credit card is now is the best bit. We'll show you that is an old card not a new one. Wouldn't recommend doing it with one that you're still using. This is it, the final bit of silicon in. There will eventually be a um, glass splashback going on there because the hob's going to go obviously underneath the extractor and um, I don't know how well this stuff would fare up against the heat. So yeah, it'll have a toughened glass splashback going on there. And that's it, last bit of silicon in. Thanks for watching. Um, if you'd like to keep up to date with more projects, I've actually got quite a big project coming up that I've videoed. Um, just hit that subscribe button, ding that bell, 
to stay up to date with everything. And, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.